Hello everybody, welcome to our new lesson from El Manahal International School. Our lesson will be about past simple. Past simple, we are going to talk about grammar, past simple, affirmative, regular verbs, speaking, talking about past events, pronunciation, here we have with ed, in the past forms ed in the past forms now here we have past simple affirmative regular now searching for the lost city exercise number one read and listen to the text about exploring about exploring the Kalari Desert. What three different jobs does it mention? Now let's read and after that we will listen to the recording. Searching for the lost city. Al-Madina al-Mafquda. Al-Bahath an al-Madina al-Mafquda. The successful Canadian entertainer. The successful Canadian entertainer, Al-Fanan al Kennedy and Najah, William Hunt, lived and worked in Europe under the name The Great Farini. But he wanted a new challenge, challenge, Tahaddi, and loved the idea of exploration. Fikrat al istikshaf so, in 1885, he sailed Abhara to Africa and crossed the huge Kalari Desert, Sahra Kalari Al Kabira, Al Dahma, on foot. A photographer, Al Musawwar, traveled Safara or Ghadara with him and photographed the journey photographed the journey الرحلة, صور الرحلة. after the journey they described Wasafa, a lost city in the middle of the desert في منتصف الصحراء their story caused a lot of excitement and many other explorers Explorers, their story caused a lot of excitement. الكثير من الإثارة, الكثير من الإثارة, and many other explorers studied the photographs and then tried to find the city. حاولوا, tried to find the city, but without success. بدون نجاح. In the end, People stopped. Tawakkaf al-Nas looking. Perhaps Farini invented the lost city. Invented the lost city. Nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows for sure. Here we have yeah, read and listen. Now let's listen to the recording. Lesson 6b, Exercise 1, Searching for the Lost City. The successful Canadian entertainer William Hunt lived and worked in Europe under the name The Great Farini. But he wanted a new challenge and loved the idea of exploration. So in 1885, he sailed to Africa and crossed the huge Kalahari Desert on foot. A photographer travelled with him and photographed the journey. After the journey, they described a lost city in the middle of the desert. Their story caused a lot of excitement, and many other explorers studied the photographs and then tried to find the city. 
but without success. In the end, people stopped looking. Perhaps Farini invented the lost city. Nobody knows. Yes, nobody knows for sure. Read and listen to the text about exploring the Kalari Desert. What three different jobs does it mention? ما هي الأشياء الثلاث المختلفة الأعمال أو الأعمال الثلاث المختلفة التي ذكرها هي the three the different the three different jobs does it mention what entertainer photographer explorer entertainer photographer explorer now now exercise exercise number two here read the learn box learn this here box then look at the highlighted past simple verbs in the text in exercise one to these here these verbs and match two with each spelling rule a to d here to the each spelling rule a to d we have past simple now past simple al madi al basit affirmative halat al itbat regular verbs al af'al al nidamiya the past simple affirmative of regular verbs ends in ed ينتهي الأفعال النظامية في الماضي البسيط ب اي دي اي with most verbs with most verbs we add اي دي لأكثر الأفعال نضيف we add اي دي to the infinitive إلى المصدر infinitive without to without to we have work Worked. Here yeah. we add ed. Work, يعمل. Worked, عمل. Work, worked. So we add ed to the verb here. We add to the infinitive. Infinitive, الفعل في حال المصدر. Infinitive, الفعل في الحال المصدر قبل إضافة أي شيء. Work, worked. B. If the verb ends in e اذا انتهى الفعل ب e we just add d نضيف فقط d like يحب liked حب like liked c if the verb ends in y اذا انتهى الفعل ب y the y changes to i and we add ed here carry carry يحمل carried حملة carry here we have y we change it to i here we change it here to i and we add ed carry carried now d if the verb ends in a vowel a vowel and a consonant we usually double the consonant before adding ed. Here we have consonant t and before that we have vowel. آخر حرف صامت وما قبله صوتي. آخر حرف صامت وما قبله صوتي. We double the consonant نضعف الحرف الأخير before adding ed. نضعف الحرف الأخير ومن ثم نضيف ed. Chat, chatted, chat, chatted, chat, يناقش, chatted, chat يدردش, دردشة, chatted. Now, now let's go to highlighted here. Highlighted past simple verbs here. We have number one with a. 
which one with a work worked we have with a we have sailed here sailed sailed here we add ed to the infinitive sail you pair sailed apara sail sailed so a we have work worked and we have sell sailed here we have sailed b which one which ends in e we have love we have loved loved we add just d loved and we have caused because cause you sabib caused sababa loved and caused the two verbs here ends the two verbs here end in e so we add just d to caused and loved here we have c if the verb ends in y which one we have c we have studied here studied and tried try you have will here we change the y to i and we add ed here also we have studied study we change y to i and we add ed studied and tried for c d if the verbs end in vowel and and a consonant now which one here we have which one we have traveled travel l is a consonant and before that we have e so we double the consonant here traveled and stopped stopped p is a consonant and before that we have y so we double the consonant and we add ed so the answers here will be for exercise number two here match two with each spelling here a we have worked sailed b loved caused c studied tried d traveled stopped exercise number three pronunciation pronunciation a love of listen and repeat these past simple forms in which verbs is the ed ending an extra syllable pronounced id what is the rule what is the rule now here is the rule when a verb ends in t or d t or d we pronounce the extra syllable as id. إذا انتهت الفعل ب t o d يلفظ تلفظ ال e d المضافة ك id. id. Now let's listen now. 3.6 Lesson 6b Exercise 3 Arrived Chatted Decided Interrupted Liked Needed Planned Visited Worked Now here we have, for example, Alasinita chat. It ends in T. Chat. Chatted. Id. Here. Chatted. And, but we have liked. Id. Liked. For this is the rule. So again, when a verb ends in T or D, it is the B T or D, we pronounce the extra syllable as id. 
as id. Now, we have, now let's play the recording again. Let's play. Lesson 6b, exercise 3. Arrived. Chatted. Decided. Interrupted. Liked. Needed. Planned. Visited. Worked. Yes. Now we have exercise number four. Pronunciation. Say the past simple forms of these regular verbs. Here we have pay attention to the endings. انتبه إلى النهايات. Pay attention to the endings. انتبه إلى النهايات. Number four we have end, live, start, stop, trouble, wait, walk, wanted, watch. Here we have number one, end, ended. Look, it ends in D, end, ended, like this. This is the pronunciation. Hai kitabat al-lafad, end, ended, because it ends in D. Lived, lived. We don't have ED, we have just D. Lived. Started. Look, id, because it ends in T. الأفعال التي تنتهي بـ T أو D يكون لفظ لاحقة الماضي الزائدة id. id. Started. Started. We have stopped. 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 Traveled. Traveled. Look, he t and he d. Traveled. Waited. Here it ends in t. Id. Waited. Traveled. Stopped. Waited. Walked. 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 Amila. Here, worked. Wanted. It ends in T. Wanted. 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 Walked. Wanted. Watch. Watch it. Watch. Here we have watch. Watch. We have here watch. Watch it. Watch it like this. Now, exercise number five. Now, let me ask you a question. Two questions here. What animal is that? What animal is that? It's a camel. It's a camel. Where do camels live? Where do camels live? In the desert. In the desert. Now, number five. Choose the correct verb for each gap. Then complete the text with the past simple affirmative form. Choose the correct verb of each gap. Here we have maybe you choose work or arrive. Then complete the text with the past simple affirmative form. Past simple affirmative form. Crossing the Sahara. Crossing the Sahara. Michel Asher is a British explorer, Mustakshif Britani, and the first person to cross the Sahara. Desert. 
using only camels. As a young man, Asher, as a young man, Asher worked as a police officer. Worked. عملة كضابط شرطة. Worked. Here we have work and we as we add ed worked. And then a teacher. But he here we have want or wait to be an explorer. He what he wanted. Want and ed wanted to be an explorer. So he visit or move to Africa. He moved. غادرة. He moved to Africa. Here we have live or watch. Live or watch with an African tribe. قبيلة أفريقية. He to Africa. Lived. عاش with an African tribe. And study or start their language and what studied we change y to i and we add ed studied their language he we have describe this describe or marry an italian woman an italian woman he married an italian woman called Mariano Tinetta Pero She plan or love the idea of exploring too. She what she loved loved she loved the idea of exploring too and together they walk or plan here they planned planned a journey across the Sahara Desert خططوا لرحلة من خلال الصحراء Sahara from west to east from west to east by camel and on foot they here we have train or stop they trained for three months تدربوا لثلاثة أشهر trained trained for three months and then they start or end they started their journey started their journey they work or travel here they about 7,250 kilometers they what? 11 they traveled yeah, they traveled and arrived or at their destination they and here 12 and arrived at their destination 271 days later Asher Asher decide or describe Asher described the crossing in his book Impossible Journey to against the Sahara to against the Sahara to against the Sahara so Asher described yeah, Asher described. Now the answers to exercise five here. Yeah. Number one, worked. Number two, wanted. Number three, moved. Number four, lived. Number five, studied. Number six, married. Number seven, loved. Number eight, planned. Number nine, trained. Number ten, started. Number 11, traveled. Number 12, arrived. And at the end here, number 13, described. Number 13, described. Now for further 
practice of the past simple affirmative of regular verbs we have grammar builder here on page 134 here you can answer it by yourself number six exercise number six complete the sentences with the past simple affirmative form of the verbs below here we have verbs try to complete the sentences here number one I walked number one I walked into town last night here we have last so the sentence is in the past simple عندنا كلمة last لهذا لذلك فالجملة في الماضي البسيط I walked walk here we have walked I walked into town last night number two my cousins أولاد عمومي أولاد عمامي أولاد أخواني my cousins around Italy last summer في إيطاليا around Italy last summer last summer الصيف الماضي هي number two my cousins what my cousins traveled traveled around تجولوا في إيطاليا travel هي traveled around Italy last summer number three we three hours for a bus we what we three hours for a bus ثلاث ساعات للحافلة we number three we waited wait ينتظر waited انتظرنا ثلاث ساعات الحافلة لمدة ثلاث ساعات we waited number four his grandparents أجداده his grandparents in America four years in America four years his grandparents what his grandparents lived عاشوا lived in America four years number five the rain an hour ago قبل ساعة we have ago also so if we see last and ago the sentence is in the past simple إذا رأينا كلمة ago أو كلمة last last night last day last week and an hour ago ago the rain stopped five the rain stopped here we have double consonant because we have here we have a verb ends in consonant and before that we have vowel stopped the rain stopped an hour ago number six I to my neighbor yesterday morning yesterday morning صباح الأمس yesterday so we have also yesterday so we have three words here last ago and yesterday if we see these words in any sentence the sentence will be in a past simple the sentence is in the past simple tense number six I what I chatted to my neighbors never yesterday morning I chatted chatted دردش دردشنا I chatted دردشتو أو تكلمتو to my neighbor yesterday morning so the answers number two traveled number three waited number four lived number five stopped number six chatted we have exercise number seven vocabulary add the four underlying time expressions here we have four time expressions from the sentences in exercise six 
here to the list below here we have list here then put all of the expressions into the correct order into the correct order from 1 to 10 رتب رتبها من الأول إلى العاشر starting with the most recent الأقدم with the most recent من الأقدم إلى الأحدث here we have past time expressions a few minutes ago قبل دقائق last month قبل شهر last week 10 years ago قبل منذ عشرة أيام 3 hours ago منذ ثلاث ساعات 2 months ago منذ شهرين let me show you these examples an hour ago for example for example على سبيل المثال an hour ago here an hour ago each time you say an expression make here a mark here we have comma here make a mark on the timeline here like you say an hour ago I had a cup of coffee a few minutes ago I started teaching this class three hours ago I woke up and had breakfast last night I marked papers last night I marked papers so each expression each expression here كل تعبير زمني refers to a specific time إلى وقت محدد in the past في الماضي قبل منذ ساعة منذ دقائق and so on so here we have number one a few minutes ago to here we have a few minutes ago number two now here we have here here we have four and here we have six now let's now let's order these from one to ten here we have four and here we have six من الأقدم إلى الأحداث نرتب الجمل حسب الترتيب الزمني now number one a few minutes ago an hour ago three hours ago هنا نبدأ من الوقت الحالي الأقرب ثم نعود بالزمن إلى الوراء a few minutes ago an hour ago three hours ago last night yesterday morning last week last month two months ago last summer 10 years ago here we have from recent here نرتبها من الأحدث إلى الأقدم here a few minutes ago منذ دقائق منذ ساعة منذ ثلاث ساعات الليل الماضية yesterday morning صباح الأمس last week الأسبوع وهنا نتحدث عن الشهر month two months last summer الصيف الماضي وقبل عشر منذ عشر سنوات 10 years ago here we have these past time expressions here we have past time expressions here so here most recent يعني starting with the most من الأحدث نذهب إلى الأقدم بشكل تتابعي هي من الأحدث إلى الأقدم now let's go to workbook to page 65 here we have homework here number one complete the email here use the past simple affirmative form of the verbs in brackets here you have to change this verb in brackets enjoy arrive travel to change these to the past to change to change this to the past here in this email number two also it's a homework complete the sentences with the past simple affirmative form of the verbs below here 
My mom, chemistry at Oxford University. My mom studied here. For example, I answer this one, just this one. My mom studied chemistry at Oxford University. Now, here, complete the past simple sentences, use the words in brackets. Here we have words in brackets. I usually walk to school cycle. Yesterday, I cycle. Qiyadat al-Raja, I cycled to school. I cycled to school. This is, and you have two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have six sentences, other sentences in the same way. You can answer these three questions as a homework. This is everything for today. Past simple affirmative regular verbs. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.